seen a lot of bad press at the moment surrounding the warehouse project following the recent fatality last weekend. Now, do you think um, that, that the company is starting to clamp down on drug testing and drug abuse following this incident? Uh, it's hard to say because it's the first one I've been to in Manchester, but with relation to the other ones I've been to around the country, what well, definitely there was uh, a load of drug um, sort of leaflets and stuff being handed out and as you go through the gates you get two or three searches, there's random searches, there's dogs sniffing, uh, there's all sorts, so you, there's pretty much, it's hard to get stuff in. Um, so there was, there seemed to be more, more than usual, especially of, with, in light of recent events I'd say. There's other stuff I've been to, it's as soon as you come through the door there's people coming up to you offering you stuff, but the other night it was one, maybe two that I saw uh, overall. Uh, not too much, nothing, nothing too over the top. Um, I don't think introducing a laboratory into the premises before the gig would do much, much good. Um, at the end of the day, you're going to get stuff into the venue regardless. Um, the other night, as I say, there was a number of searches, uh, strip searches, dog searches, and there was always stuff, there was obviously stuff going on inside. Um, so if you're testing substances, that's fine and that can be banned, but at the end of the day, uh, the, if you can't test the substances because you can't get hold of them, then they're still going to get through the doors. If you don't want to touch the stuff, you don't have to, so I had a great night, pretty much sober towards the end anyway, so it's absolutely fine, no problem.